Okay, so um, just had another question. Uh, what is an outdoor reset, which I went flying through when I was talking one of my other pieces. Uh, an outdoor reset is a control. The way, in, in, to understand it, you have to sort of step back and understand how a conventional uh, boiler or furnace works. They are both, both conventional systems typically are on off. They fire up, they heat something up, to heat water, if it's a boiler, you'll heat water up between to 180 to you know 200 degrees, and then it shuts off. Uh, now the thing is, is that what that means is that you're getting all of this capacity all at once when you may not need it. If it's you know zero degrees outside, the house is under a lot of thermal pressure, and there's a lot of force trying to you know have energy escape, and it will, and you need a lot of capacity in order to keep it warm. And that's the way systems are sized to essentially a design which is very cold. Around here, it's about one degree or eight degrees, somewhere in that range. What an outdoor reset does is vary the temperature of the target temperature that the boiler shuts off at. So instead of heating water up to 180 degrees when it's 50 degrees outside, what it will do is it will scale back the boiler so that it only heats water up to maybe 160 degrees or 150 degrees. I think 150 degrees is the low end of the reset. So it's kind of a scale. So it's, it's a way of controlling your boiler so that it gives it a variable capacity as opposed to sort of one fixed capacity. You can think of it as like a transmission in a car. Uh, a traditional boiler is you're in gear or you're not. And if and because you're trying to max you want the car to be able to go on a highway, the on gear is 70 miles an hour. Oops, excuse me, 55 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep the mess. Yeah. State police uh, <laughs> happy here. So you know 55 miles an hour. But there are times when you're driving just down to the grocery store, you don't need to be going 55 miles an hour. And actually it's not a good thing to do that. Uh, what a resort, what an outdoor reset does is give you alternatives. So when you want to go 35 miles an hour down to the grocery store, you can. When you want to go 70 on the highway, you can. And so that's what an outdoor, that's the uh, sort of the analogy of an outdoor reset to a boiler to basically a transmission or gears is to a car.